Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial. We did some upgrading of the um, CXT and National Campus Team budget templates to try and make it easier for you guys to track what you're spending where in your important categories. Um, this first tab here in the document, so it's called Budget Plan Fiscal Year 2018. Um, the this is populated a lot by the different tabs at the bottom here uh, in the different areas. Um, and so the way this kind of works is this is the budget that as it appears on the strategic plan. Um, any historical amounts that would be in any of these categories uh, or sections um, from the previous year will be pulled over uh, and that that can appear um, in how it's allocated. Um, so this is the funds that are currently allocated. This is your spent column and your remaining column calculates historical and allocated subtracted by spent. Um, and so how much money you have left in each area. This is your account balances. Um, I need to add sport links in here. And then um, these are kind of an overall summary of all of the um, different accounts in campus um, and if you click right on that link that will always be the um, the div sum report that everybody gets um, so I'm going to kind of jump through tabs here so the example one I will use will be training and development um, almost everybody's works the same way here um, so for training and development, anything that's in there, two chart fields um, that go towards these expenses, uh, what they'll do is um, they'll go over to my AIA, they'll plug in their chart field, um, and they'll have a list of transactions. And you go to the last transaction that your newest transaction that you haven't copied over yet, and you'll just do a control C and then paste it into the document here. Um, and so when you paste all these transactions, uh, yeah. then you've got uh, options on in the category section here. Um, and so whatever you type in here as funding lines and funding areas, um, they'll appear as options to categorize stuff. Um, and so if I select local team leader for these and November for these and cohorts, a lot of cohort expenses, November leader cohorts. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to, it adds all the amount columns um, up into these up here. So this is, it's all kinds of jumbled because there's some, fiscal year start allocations and things like that. Um, but so you can see it's adding each category in here. And then actually, because these are CXT tactics, these three right here, um, the CXT budget summary now has those amounts. So you see in local team leader in November. So it has all of those populated. Um, and so you just continue to add um, down here, and so the formulas will will cover you for all of those. So you can delete them. These, once you select one, will, will stay there until you change it again. Um, and so you notice all of these went back down to zero. So these columns work the same way. Um, so you want to put in here what was originally on the strategic plan um, allocated for that line uh, so that you know that if you get money in the middle of the year and this goes up, you can see how much you started with and how much you actually spent or how much you actually allocated versus how much you actually spent. Um, so the CFM works slightly different. I scroll to the top here uh, for Randy pretty much I'll be putting the transactions that he spends in his area in this tab. And then 
you can um, you can see the total will sum into line 32 right here. So um, for Sportlink, uh, Sportlink has two on here. One is this will be the main line 29 will be your main one, and then um, your totals for salt trainings will be here. Um, so in the sport link one, it works the same as when I was in training development and global, um, is that there's drop downs here. Um, and then you have a CXT salt training tactic that there is currently a thousand dollars for. So we're going to put a thousand there and a thousand is allocated. So that when we post transactions and you see Sportlink host salt training shows up right there. Um, and so what you guys can do is in the rest of these is put in your maintainers of um, things that you do that aren't necessarily on the, the strategic plan, um, like uh, cell phones and um, office copies and things like that uh, to kind of fill the rest of this out. Um, this will be the main transaction tab for um, basically all the other ones that aren't training and development or global um, or sport link or CFM. So this will be everything else that we'll add into this right here. Then you'll find monthly chart field balances. I'm going to add sport link in here. And so to give you each month um, of the year in through here. So then one of the other things, we'll go back to training and development, um, is so if I select all the transactions that I've inputted here, uh, what I can do is up here in this filter button, as I press the filter button, notice it kind of turns green and there's these little options up here. And so let's say I just want to look at the cohort spending. So I'm going to clear all of them and just select LTL cohorts, click OK. And so notice all the other ones disappeared. And so that's just going to give me the individual transactions that we've set our LTL cohorts. Um, and so you can filter individual transactions as well as just see the total amount that's been spent. Um, so if I do this, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you can see that $15 is right there. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Or if you want a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough on kind of how this, this works for you to ask questions for that, let me know. Thanks.